Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Convex. Now Convex was highly requested in our DeFi Innovation Discord community, uh, so I'll link that below and definitely check that out if you want to get involved with the community. Jumping right into today's topic, uh, Convex is a great example of a DeFi money Lego. Uh, what this means is that Convex basically sits on top of the Curve ecosystem, and it uses the Curve ecosystem to generate a better yield uh, than you would normally with Curve itself. Now the Convex protocol has about $1.2 billion of TVL, which is massive, and it's achieved this in just about two weeks. So in this video, I'm going to show you why it's been so popular, and then I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it if you want to use it to get a yield from Curve. Now the protocol is a bit confusing, so uh, I hope this video is helpful in breaking down how it actually works, uh, because there really are substantial yields you can get here. So I'd recommend you stay tuned, uh, watch the video, and then see if this is a good option for you. So as I mentioned, Convex is a way to get a better yield from Curve. Now there's two main ways to do this, and I'm going to go through each of them. So if we check out their main page here, we can see they have two main sections. Again, those are the two main ways to get a yield here. Uh, so the first section is liquidity providers. Now, if you go through the Curve protocol and you get Curve LP tokens, you can deposit them in the Convex protocol. Now what this does is you'll actually be earning a higher yield than you would just through the Curve protocol. And the main reason behind this is because Convex is actually going to lock up staked Curve tokens to get a boost on the individual pool that you stake into. Now if you were to do this yourself, you would have to purchase Curve tokens, stake them to become VECRV tokens, and that's how you would get your boost. Uh, but with Convex, because there's other people depositing Curve tokens, they're actually going to get that boost for you without you having to deposit and lock up your own Curve tokens. One thing that's very important to note is you can actually withdraw your Curve LP tokens at any time, so you're not locked into this protocol with this method, which is great. So now we're on the stake page where we can see what this LP strategy actually looks like. So you can see they have every Curve liquidity pool supported here, um, and it's quite a long list. So there's probably going to be a project you can find that you want to get involved in. You can see there's some we've talked about on the channel before, like the uh, Lido staked ETH token, they have Frax, they have LUSD from Liquidity, etc. Now for this example, just because it's at the top of the list, I'm going to be talking about Compound. So you can see that the current Compound APY is about 7.2%, and you can see that TVL is 36 million, so it's quite a big pool. Now I couldn't find this in the doc, so I actually reached out to the team, but if you noticed here, there's that projected APY of 23.54%. So where that comes from is that's the projected APY, as long as the TVL doesn't go up or down, uh, the projected APY should be what's listed uh, based on the curve boost uh, in the following week. So before you deposit it, best to take a look at that and see if the projected APY is going to be higher or lower than it is today. Now, if we hover over the APY, you can also see the breakdown of where this boost uh, relative to normal curve pools is coming from. So you can see it lists the base curve APY of 2.6%. I'll show you that on the main curve page in just a second, uh, but that's what you would normally receive from curve. Then there's the CRV APY. Uh, again, that's that boost I was talking about from not having to stake uh, curve yourself on the curve platform and having that pooled boost uh, from different staked curve tokens, which I will get into a bit later. So because there's that community boost, uh, the APY is significantly higher than the normal base of 2.6%, and here it's 6.64%. And then you can see there's that convex APY at the bottom, which means you're actually going to be getting convex token emissions or the CVX token. I will talk about how the CVX token works in a bit, uh, but basically it's a fee accrual token from the convex system. So you can see here at the bottom, the fees are listed. Um, they are already deducted from the APY, which is convenient. But you can see there's a 16% fee on the return. So 10% of that is distributed to CBX curve stakers. I'll get into that in a bit. 5% of the fees are distributed to the convex stakers. And 1% of the fees are for the harvesters that are paying gas fees on all of the transactions that are happening under the hood. So again, great option. If you don't want to worry about anything else in this video, uh, basically if you have curve LP tokens, you can put them in here and get a boost on your rewards. That said, this protocol does get a bit more complex, so I'm going to dive into that now. Now we're back on the main page here, and you can see there's the Curve Staker option. So how this works is you have regular CRV or Curve tokens, and you can deposit them into Convex. Now this is a one-way transaction, so you can't redeem your Convex Curve tokens back to Curve. The reason for this is those depositive Curve tokens get locked into the Curve protocol, and they become VE CRV, or that locked Curve token that boosts rewards uh, for the entire Convex ecosystem. 
If we go back to the stake page, you can see here that anybody can convert and stake their CRV tokens. And right now that's 120% APY that you can earn on these tokens, which is great. Now, when you do this, you're getting two types of rewards to generate this high 120% APY. So the first set of rewards are the usual rewards that Curve would give you as a regular Curve staker. And in addition to that, you're also getting a share of the 10% convex LP fees. So when you couple all of those rewards together, the APY is 120%, which is of course great. So these are the two main ways to get a return on convex. Uh, but there's also one more thing that I think is important to talk about. So the convex protocol has their own convex token. So you can see here now we're on the use convex page. Um, so it's important to note the convex protocol, of course, has their own convex token. And you can see here there's a few things you can do with that convex token. So the first is you can simply just stake it and you'll end up earning that convex curve token. Um, and so that APY is about 40%. Now again, this return is from the platform's revenue. Uh, so those fees we talked about, they're distributed back to convex stakers. And so you can see here, there's also the option to provide liquidity, which uh, will give you an APR of 144% and 115%, depending on the platform you choose to go to. Now you can see the SushiSwap APR is quite higher, uh, but I actually expect that to go up. I'm actually going to share this uh, Medium article about the convex sushi rewards program. And of course that will be linked below. But essentially, Sushi is going to be incentivizing the Convex Curve Curve LP and the Convex ETH LP. Uh, so they're going to be earning Sushi rewards on top of the regular Convex rewards. Obviously, it's best to stay tuned to see when they actually turn those rewards on. Um, it's probably something we're going to be discussing in the DeFi Innovation Discord. So definitely feel free to join there if you want to stay up to date. So next up, I want to highlight the price comparison between the Curve token and then the Convex Curve token. So you can see here, they're actually priced uh, very similarly. Now this has a few benefits. Um, so obviously that means you don't really have to worry about impermanent loss if you're going to be staking in a liquidity pool. And in addition, it's also reassurance that the market's basically saying uh, that the Convex Curve token is pretty much as good as just holding the regular Curve token. Because as we've discussed, you're pretty much getting all of the same benefits of the Curve token with the Convex Curve token. This was something I didn't expect when I started researching uh, for this video, so it's really reassuring to see this and would make me feel a lot more comfortable um, about providing liquidity to the platform or providing liquidity to this pair on SushiSwap. And lastly, I do want to point you to the official docs. Um, unfortunately, they're not too comprehensive, so I had to do some digging in other places and reached out to the community, uh, the Convex community, uh, to get some questions answered. But I will, of course, link the docs below if um, you want to look there for any questions you might have. So to close out, uh, my final thoughts here really are that this is a fascinating protocol and goes to show that DeFi projects are meant to be built on top of each other. Now, I will say you're just inherently taking on more risk if you go through convex on top of curve, just because you're dealing with another platform, which is exposing you to more smart contract risk. That said, the TVL again is over a billion dollars. The project is actually uh, partially supported by the curve team itself and Convex is getting a ton of integration. So to me, all of this signals that Convex is probably on the safer side, but of course you should always do your own research before investing. For me, it's just really exciting to see uh, different protocols being built on top of each other, and I think Convex has a bright future ahead. Now, of course, the Convex protocol is heavily reliant on Curve, but it'll be interesting to see where these two protocols go together. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Again, please give the video a like, it's very helpful, and then subscribe if you're interested in seeing more. And lastly, the Discord DeFi Innovation Chat is free. Um, it's been a great resource for me and for other community members, so that's linked below if you wanna join. So thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.